All right, Lane and I are out here at Royston. We slipped out here today, even though it's really windy, because Dad, Danny, and Tristan are out here drilling the blast. Um, just down in the same pit where we filmed our last Royston video. And they got some really high grade turquoise coming out down there along with some good two-tone chalk. So we'll take you down in the pit here in a minute and show you what's going on. Um, hopefully Lane and I can get back out here in the next few days and get in there. What do you think we'll find, Lane? Probably a bunch of chalk. We like hopefully the chalk. Hopefully it gets into some high grade. Yes. Um, just that same... We haven't been back out here. Dad, Danny, and Tristan have dug a little bit more, so hopefully the turquoise is still coming in good once the shots go off. But we'll get back to you guys later with some more turquoise. Take you on over, show you where we're drilling. We've got Tristan in front of us here. over here cutting the air to the drill they're gonna get the drill out they've got two I believe 18 foot holes drilled we'll get those loaded with the explosives here in a little bit and get it blasted hopefully fingers crossed a bunch of turquoise will be out on the ground for us to pick up Just got done blasting. A little bit of turquoise showing. Everything's covered in dust right now. Some good greens. This one looks pretty nice. Some good high grade colors showing up. Tristan, where was most of the turquoise coming out before the shot? What area? Well, the fault carrying the turquoise is about 15 feet wide here. And everywhere that you can see the ground is blocky right in here is where you would call. Um, you can actually see all the chalk coming out in that crack back there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, right in here is, is where the, the lead of turquoise is. So it's 12 feet wide, and when it gets blocky like this, the turquoise can run in every single crack. Could be a good pocket then. Hopefully. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Lane and I are back out here, day two, out at Royston. We're digging on this really cool seam of turquoise that's come clear down from the wall up there, down here into the bottom. And we're getting some pretty solid stuff out. Lots of little slabs coming out. Not the best color for now, but hopefully that'll change into a darker two-tone eventually. But right now we're just working on digging it out and getting it in the bucket. Really good color, so hopefully some of it'll, some of those clean slabs will turn into this really bright colored stuff. But that's a little shot of what we're working on right now. We'll get back to recording when we find some other cool stuff. We're now working on getting the pit all cleaned out so we can get to the turquoise that was right down in this area. It's a big bucket on this machine. If I remember right, it's three or three and a half yards. But that is a lot of dirt. Hopefully that turquoise will keep coming back up this way too. 
if we can get it to come back up here, we have a really good chance of the color changing back to the good bright colors we're looking for out here. Lane's coming back down into the pit here in a second. We're going to look at what he dug up. But for now, I'm trying to get me some banging energy going. So hopefully we can dig up a couple buckets of good turquoise. Come in here and show you what we're seeing. I saw a couple better chips of turquoise down this way. Good color. There's one. See it? Another. So that means somewhere in here, there should be some bigger pieces. When we get the bigger pieces with that good color, we'll be talking two, three bucks a carat for the finished cabochons. And that'll build up money fast. Nice little chunk here. Nothing too special, but good enough to go in the bucket. All right, well, we'll let Lane get down in here and start digging around and locate where the turquoise is coming out of the solid and get back to you. Lane came down the pit finally and following it from up there where I picked up a first of the few pieces. Down here is where I was showing you the little specks. Down under the dirt, we've located that lead of turquoise. There's some pretty decent colored, a lot of good solid chunks to work with pretty exciting really bright colors too so that means there's some really good stuff in there stick around in it real quick a couple more chunks It's just flying out everywhere. A lot of good solid pieces though. Let's see if we can find this a stunning piece of rough in here. That's a good color on that. If we could get a bunch of that, we'd be in the money. Even if that still just cuts one cab, or it looks like it'll cut two cabs, one on each side maybe. It's probably still 40, 50 bucks of cabs after they're all said and done. As you can see, we got that seam of turquoise running along here. We got one piece all cleaned off to show you. It's still running this way a little bit too. And we'll see if we can break out that whole chunk here. I think that is turquoise. I'm going to chip the end off it real quick. Got a handful of turquoise. Turquoise rock in my hand. Oh, that one was a scam. It happens all the time and it sucks when it happens. But this one next to it looks to be more solid. Now that's a chunk of turquoise. Beautiful colors. Yeah, and looks to be pretty solid too. Hopefully we can dig out a bunch of this. I wouldn't be upset with that. Got some decent looking turquoise showing. The only problem is it's all fractured up. Probably because of this hole where we blasted. It's hard to tell where the turquoise is down underneath the ground. Some of it's not that good. Some beautiful turquoise coming out of this seam. Good two tones where it goes from green to blue.
these will polish off nice. All right, we spent probably the last hour or so digging and watching for turquoise coming out and there just hasn't been any. A lot of these little leads over here, a little bit of pink turquoise that's just too thin to use showing still, but nothing thick enough to, to use. We're gonna call it quits here for today and go check out maybe another pit here at Royston and see if we can scavenge anything out of the tellings and make it a successful day regardless of not finding much here. So we'll see what we can find there in a little while. Okay, Lane and I have driven over the hill from where we were mining. Didn't hit a whole lot, so we came out here and we're gonna dig some of these tellings piles. Um, some of them are pretty loaded with turquoise too, so we're counting on hitting some good chunks out of them. We're gonna come dig up in this one up here and that's where I've had some of the better luck. Um, if you go to odysonbrothersturquoise.com, you can actually sign up for mine tours and come dig in these tellings. And we've had quite a few people strike a lot of turquoise out of them. So I would highly recommend that. Like I said, you can sign up on odysonbrothersturquoise.com, come out, watch our mining process and learn a little bit about the mines and dig your own turquoise. And you get to keep everything you find. But I'm going to go up here and Lane will be following behind me and we'll show you what we're able to dig out and you'll be able to do the same exact thing. Here's Lane coming up the hill. We're just getting to the bottom of the tellings piles we're going to dig in. I've already spotted a nice piece of turquoise here. I'll come down and show you. Oh. I'm getting fat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'll make a beautiful cab there. At least dime size. Probably be 20, 30 bucks. So we'll get that in the bucket and look for some more. Haven't even started digging. I spotted a beautiful piece up here, really high grade. Lane pointed out down below my knee. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There's a really nice one. We'll pull that out. Set up here. Wow, look at the turquoise there. It'll be a beautiful cab off that one. A really nice cab off the one under it too. And you guys can come out here, do the same exact thing. Just sign up on odysonbrothersturquoise.com and it's only about a 30 minute drive from Tonopah, Nevada. You'll get to come out with a mine tour um, with a tour guide and see exactly how we mine and dig your own turquoise out here. Here's a little piece that we'd call ribbon. You see that little thin vein running through. We'll actually cut it with the rock in it with the turquoise running down the middle. And that's what we would call ribbon. This is pretty thin vein here. But you can still cut around a 20 to 35 dollar cab out of it. Another good example of ribbon here. A little thicker vein. Got the same type of ribbon cab out of it. Yeah, that's a good one. Another nice rock that just rolled out. Thought I'd show everybody. Wasn't showing a whole lot, but I broke it and it's got some extremely high grade turquoise. It's a little bit thin, but it's definitely cabable. Another piece of it down here fell off. That's good money. We'll see what else we can find. Oh. We've just been digging along and we got another Looks to be a nice piece of turquoise. Drag the rock out and see if it's got any cab potential. Definitely a cab here on the top. Flip it over, maybe some ribbon on the edge so we'll cob it down where we break the rock open. Don't gotta swing hard, just gotta hit it good in the right place. That's probably worth throwing in. Might be some ribbon cabs in there. 
other side's got some good stuff. That's a usable piece. So yeah, we're in a pretty loaded spot already. And we've only been here a little while, probably five minutes. So it looks like this is making us more money than mining with the excavator and burning fuel. Pretty cool. Digging a hole here, just into the tailings pile here at Royston. And this little piece of turquoise rolled out. Gosh, it's about as high grade as it gets. That piece is killer. Won't cut too big of a cabochon, but big enough for a ring. And it is beautiful Royston turquoise. Awesome piece of turquoise showing. It looks like a chunker. In these tailing piles. Let's see it. The whole thing you caved see? in on me. That's a nice piece of turquoise right there. Actually, blue nugget fell out too. <laughs> Brett got a pretty loaded spot. Lane's still got me beat with quality and size, but I'm, I'm still finding some. Pretty cool. We're getting nice turquoise coming out. Can't beat that. Longer stuff here too. Might stabilize for a ribbon. That's a nice ribbon. Yep. Cool. In these tailing piles, you can find beautiful. Ribbon turquoise. It'll make perfect ribbon cabs. I also have another one showing right below it here. Beautiful blue turquoise. Digging more Royston tailings. Nice little piece showing right there. Let's see how it is. A little ribbon piece, kind of lighter color. And it still make beautiful cabochons.